Matthew DeClerc, you are in the Hippo Education Studios. I am Aaron Bright. I am in my own studios, complete with a priceless works of art on the wall. And uh, we are here for the EP Monthly 2020, March 2020, uh, article reviews. This one is uh, part of a, a series they do called the Prescription Pad. But when push comes to shove, it's about push dose pressers. And uh, you read it. I skimmed it. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about it? You know, this was a good one because it's another one of those educational ones. We've talked about push dose pressers lots of times. It's very popular. Epi is like your go-to, but Epi's not always your only choice or the best choice, especially in the tacky dysrhythmias. Yeah. So it gives you some other some options. Some nuance, yeah. Phenylephrine being one of them, right? And so basically giving you other options, what's alpha, what's beta, a good reminder that yeah, we need to be safer with these medications in terms of, you know, mixing it up correctly yeah. and moving forward with that. But also kind of we are now adding more spice to the soup, the push dose. Pressure I remember when I like uh, at Essentials, um, I don't know how many years ago, when Weingart was going through push dose pressure, they got all this press back. They're like, what are you, a maniac? And now we're like, it's an EP monthly. Like it's uh, interesting. Yeah. Now the pharmacist it makes yeah. it for you. Like, here you go. Cool. Good stuff. Thanks for the education. And I'm going to take the escalator this time. No, the stairs. Edumacation.